Magandang araw mga bata! Ako si Ma'am Regine, ang teacher mo sa math. Sa video na ito ay ating bibigyang kasagutan ang katanungan ng mga grade 7 na mag-aaral. Paano nga bang sasagutan ang mga learning tasks sa module? Ito ang ating module for quarter 2 ng Mathematics Grade 7. This is an SLM or Self-Learning Module. What is a Self-Learning Module? It is designed to provide information, activities, and new learning that the learners need to work on. As a learner, it will help you attain the prescribed grade level knowledge, skills, attitude, and values at your own pace outside the normal classroom setting. Ano ang kaibahan ng ating module for quarter 2 mula doon sa module natin for quarter 1? Ang module na ito for quarter 2 ay naglalaman ng pivot assessment card for learners na matatagpuan sa page 38 na naglalaman ng personal assessment on learners' level of performance. Ito ang pivot assessment card for learners. Meron itong mga instructions at ito yung mga i-input natin na symbols dito sa mga patlang sa LP or Level of Performance. Discuss natin isa-isa. This is the distribution of learning tasks per week for quarter 2. Mula sa week 1, sa ilalim nito meron tayong learning task 1 to 8. LP ay yung Level of Performance. Ito yung mga blanks na lalagyan mo ng sagot mo na symbol. Mula week 1 hanggang week 8. Ang module for quarter 2 ng mathematics ay naglalaman ng lessons per week 1 hanggang week 8. Pero unlike other subjects, meron lamang itong learning tasks hanggang learning task 3. Kaya naman hindi natin sasagutan yung learning tasks 4 to 8. Ang lalagyan lamang natin ng symbol for level of performance ay mula sa learning task 1 to 3 for week 1 to week 8. At sa mathematics, magkasama iyong lesson for week 1 and 2 dahil mahaba iyong topic for measurement. Kaya iyong mga ilalagay mo rito na symbols ay ganun din ang ilalagay mo rito sa week 2. Iba-iba naman yung lessons natin for week 3 hanggang week 8. Ano-ano nga ba ang ilalagay natin na symbol dito sa LP or Level of Performance? Star, I was able to do or perform the task without any difficulty. The task helped me in understanding the target, content, or lesson. Ilalagay natin dito ang star sa mga patlang na ito kung na-perform natin ng maayos yung mga learning tasks na hindi nahihirapan gaano. Aside from star, we also have the check mark. I was able to do or perform the task. It was quite challenging but it still helped me in understanding the target, content, or lesson. Kung hindi star ang ating ilalagay, pwedeng check mark. It means na nagawa mo rin iyong performance task, itong mga learning task na nandito sa ating module. However, nahirapan kang sagutan ito. At kung hindi naman star symbol or check mark, pwedeng ang ilagay mo ay question mark. I was not able to do or perform the task. It was extremely difficult. I need additional enrichment activities to be able to do or perform this task. Kung hindi natin ilalagay ang star or check mark dito sa mga patlang sa level of performance, pwede naman na check mark ang ilagay natin. It means na hindi na perform yung task kasi sobrang nahihirapan ng bata. Isa pang feature ng module natin for second quarter na wala sa quarter 1 ng mathematics ay ang quarter 2 ay merong answer key. Ito ay makikita natin sa page 39. Dahil ito ay self-learning module, it is expected that the learners will be learning from the module. Babasahin nila yung content and then sasagutan nila yung mga performance task. After nilang magsagot ay sila din yung mag a sa sarili nila. Sila yung mag-check ng kanilang sagot, kaya merong sagot sa likod. At dahil may answer key ang module na ito for second quarter ng mathematics, ito ay nagtatanong ng how and why. So instead of just giving out the answers, you will be asked how. Paano mo nakuha yung sagot? How did you arrive with the answer? How? Show your solution. Why? Bakit ito ang sagot? Explain in one to two sentences. Kaya para sa mga videos natin kung paano sa sagutan ng learning tasks, ilalagay natin kung paano sinasagutan ng how. We will be showing the solutions and why. Explaining the answer. 
those questions that do not require solution, ang gagawin natin ay explain natin ang sagot. This video is focusing on week 5 ng ating 4A cube milk-based module for grade 7 mathematics under quarter 2 lesson 5. Meron na rin tayong video na inihanda para rito. Loss of exponents and its application uploaded na rin ito sa ating YouTube channel, Ang Teacher Mo Sa Math. For week 5, this is about loss of exponents and its application. Meron tayong tatlong learning tasks na kailangang i-accomplish. Ang learning task 1 ay nasa D part or discussion. Ito ay nasa page 22. Learning task 2 naman ay nasa E part or evaluation na nasa page 25. At ang learning task 3 ay nasa A part or assessment sa page 25 din. Punta tayo sa learning task 1. Ito ang ating makikita for learning task 1. Meron tayong dalawang column. Yung una nating column ay simplify by writing in exponential form. Ito namang pangalawa ay write in expanded form. Ang exponential form natin ay ito ang example 2 raised to the power of 6. At ang expanded form naman natin ito ang example. So basically for 1, 2, 3, kailangan mo lamang ilagay ang kanilang exponential form. Review lamang tayo. Ang exponents, ito yung kanyang basic form. Ito yung exponential form niya. Where a is the base and n is the exponent. Exponent tells us how many times the base will be multiplied by itself. So tulad dito sa ating example na ibinigay dito, ang sagot na exponential form ay 2 raised to the power of 6. Dahil yung ating base dito na 2 ay minultiply sa sarili niya ng 6 na beses. So, ganun din yung gagawin dito sa 2 and 3. You just need to give the exponential form. Dito naman sa pangalawang column natin, you just need to give its expanded form. Binibigay yung exponential form, ilagay yung expanded form. So, ito yung expanded form. Itong 2x raised to the power of 4, ay uh, expand natin, meaning yung 2x yung ating base. Imumultiply natin siya sa sarili niya ng apat na beses. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin Yung xy dito yung base, 7 yung exponent. Dito naman, yung negative ab ang ating base, positive 6 naman ang exponent dito. Ito naman tayo ngayon sa learning task 2. Ito ang ating makikita for learning task 2. Hinati ito into two activities, activity A and activity B. Mag-focus muna tayo sa ating activity A. We just need to simplify the following. Meron tayong lima. Ang ating sagot ay dapat na nakabase sa loss of exponents. Itong number 1 and number 2 ay parehong under ng power of a power rule. Ito lamang ay for multiplication. Ito to naman ay for division. Panoorin natin ito para sa example. We also have power of a power rule. Ang power of a power rule can be applied both to multiplication and division. Any numbers, m and integers, x and y, where m is raised to the power of x, and close siya in a parenthesis, and then the exponent is y, equal to m raised to the power of x multiplied to y. Bigay ako ng example wherein applicable siya for multiplication. We have a squared raised to the power of 3 or simply a squared cubed. Meaning, itong a squared ay enclosed in a parenthesis. And then, yung kanyang value ay kailangan pa nating erase to 3 or i-multiply sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses. Ito yung kanyang magiging expanded form. a squared will be multiplied by itself ng tatlong beses. Ito yung ating magiging expanded form. a squared will be multiplied by itself ng tatlong beses dahil ang ating exponent na nasa labas ay 3. Following this standard form, let's copy the base, which is a, and then 2 times 3. Itong dalawang exponent ay kailangan nating i-multiply together. Kaya ating magiging sagot ay a raised to the power of 6. Copyin lang natin yung base, which is a, and then 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Another example, we have a squared divided by b cubed raised to the power of 3. Expanded form itong a squared raised to the power of 3 ay ito. a squared, multiply natin sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses. Then, kailangan natin i-multiply yung 2 and 3 na kanilang mga exponents. Ganon din naman i-u-v-q. Ito yung 
kanyang expanded form. B cube raised to the power of 3. So, tatlong beses natin siya i-multiply sa sarili niya. This is also similar to B raised to the power of 3 times 3. So, i-multiply lang natin yung exponent ni A na 2 and 3. I-multiply din natin yung exponent ni B na 3 doon sa 3 na nasa labas. Kaya, 3 times 3. Then, eh, parang ating sagot ay A raised to the power of 6 over B raised to the power of 9. At ganyan natin mga bata kung paano sasagutan ang numbers 1 and 2 ng activity A ng learning task 2. Magbibigay lamang ako ng isa pang halimbawa for number 2. We have 6x squared divided by 3y squared. So, una nating ipeperforma itong numerator, 6x squared squared. Ito ay magiging 36x raised to the power of 4. Ang 36 ay galing sa 6 squared. Dahil 6 times 6 ay 36. And then, copy x. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next, kunin naman natin yung sa denominator. Ito ay magiging 9y squared. Dahil 3 squared or 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then, y squared dahil 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Kaya ito yung ating sagot. However, pwede pa natin itong isimplify pa. Ang ating magiging sagot ay 4x raised to the power of 4 over y squared. Saan galing itong 4? 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. Kaya mawawala na yung 9 dito at mawawala na yung 36 dahil we divide them together. Ito ay magiging 4 na. Copy the literal coefficient x raised to the power of 4 at ito ay magiging y squared na lamang. Ito na yung ating final answer. Next, for number 3, ito ay under ng power of a product. Let's watch this video. We also have power of a product. For any numbers m and n integers x, m multiplied to n raised to the power of x is equal to m raised to the power of x multiplied to n raised to the power of x. Magbigay tayo ng halimbawa, 2ab a, B, I, and closing the parentheses, raised to the power of 3. It can also be written this way, kung paano natin siya ma-evaluate. Yung ating numerical coefficient na 2, ay i-raise natin to the power of 3. Kaya 2 Q. And then yung A, sa ating literal coefficient, ay ganun din. A Q. At yung B, I, i-raise din natin siya the power of 3, so B cube. Multiply them together, kunin natin yung value, magiging A, A cube, B cube. 8 ay nakuha sa 2 times 2 times 2, tatlong beses natin minultiply ito sa sarili niya, which is equivalent to 8. And then A cube and B cube ay kukupihin lamang natin. Number 4 naman ay under ng product law of exponent. At ito ang example kung paano itong sasagutan. First, we have product law of exponent. Any numbers, m and integers, x and y, where m is raised to the power of x multiplied to m raised to the power of y is equal to m raised to the power of x plus y. The base must be the same before you can add the exponents. Bigay tayo ng example. b squared multiplied to b cubed. So, dito, ang ating base ay B, parehong B, at ang ating exponent ay 2 and 3. Ito ang kanyang expanded form. So, B squared, multiply natin yung B sa sarili niya ng dalawang beses. At yung B cube naman, B na base ay mumultiply natin sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses. Applying this formula or standard form, magiging B yung ating base dahil dapat pareho pareho sila na B and then ang ating exponent ay magiging 2 plus 3 etong 2 at 3 ay kailangan nating i-add together kaya ang ating magiging sagot ay B raised to the power of 5 dito sa product law of exponent always remember that you need to add the exponents together you have to multiply the bases and then add the exponents. Dito, kasi pareho yung base na B, kaya kinopya lang natin siya B. And then yung exponent, we add 2 and 3, kaya naging 5. 
Pero say for example, itong ating basis ay may value instead of just using the variable P. Halimbawa, 3 squared, 3 yung ating base dito, at ito naman ay 2 cubed. Halimbawa, we still need to add the exponents together dahil under ito ng product law of exponent, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 pa rin ang ating exponent. However, for the bases, we need to multiply them together. So, sabi ko kanina ito ay 3 squared multiplied to 2 cubed. So, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Instead of B, ang magiging sagot na natin ay 6. 6 raised to the power of 5. So, ito yung exponential form niya, 6 raised to the power of 5. Pwede mo rin naman gamitin sagot yung kanyang expanded form. Mumultiply mo lang yung base na 6 ng limang beses dahil ang exponent ay 5. So, yun yung magiging 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. So, instead of B, magiging 6 lang siya. Ganun din naman. Ang number 5 naman ay under din ang power of a power rule. However, this is a combination of multiplication and division. Magbibigay ako ng example tungkol dito. So, ang aking example ay a squared b cubed over c d squared squared multiplied by c cubed d e squared over 2 a b squared cubed. Meaning ito ay mumultiply natin by itself twice dahil ang exponent ay 2. At ito naman ay mumultiply natin sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses. Exponent ay 3. So, pag ito ay pinerform na natin, ito ang ating magiging result. Unahin natin itong a squared b cubed squared. Siya ay magiging a raised to the power of 4, b raised to the power of 6. San galing yon Yung a, kinopya lamang natin siya. And then, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. b, kopyahin din. 3 na exponent niya times 2 ay 6. So, nadaman tayo dito kay c d squared squared. So, kopyain natin yung C, yung kanyang exponent ay invisible 1. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Kopyahin yung B, exponent ay 2 times 2, kaya 4. And then, imumultiply natin siya dito sa isa pa. Unahin naman natin itong C cubed, D is squared cubed. C, multiply natin yung exponents na 3 times 3, kaya 9. D, may 1 siya na invisible exponent, multiplied by 3, kaya 3. And then, yung e na may exponent na 2 multiplied to 3, kaya e raised to the power of 6. Dito naman tayo sa 2ab squared cube. Ito ang magiging result niya. 8 ay galing sa 2 cube or 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses may multiply ang 2 sa sarili niya, kaya naging 8. And then, a cube ay galing sa kinope yung 8. May invisible exponent siya na 1 times 3, kaya 3. And then, b raised to the power of 6 ay galing sa 2 times 3, kaya naging 6. So, ito yung naging result niya. After natin i-simplify yung kanilang mga exponents na kapag multiply na tayo, kailangan na natin mag-divide ngayon. So, simulan natin sa a. a raised to the power of 4, nasa numerator siya, meron dito sa denominator na a raised to the power of 3, kaya 4 minus 3. Ang sagot ay A lamang. Meron siyang invisible 1, positive 1. Next, pumunta naman tayo sa variable na B. Dito sa numerator, meron tayong B raised to the power of 6. Dito sa denominator, meron din tayo ng kapareho niya na B raised to the power of 6. Kaya 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Ang sagot natin dito ay B raised to the power of 0 or simply 1. Dahil any constants or variables na merong exponent na 0 is always equal to 1. Next, punta tayo sa C. Meron tayong C raised to the power of 9 dito sa numerator. At meron din tayong sa denominator na C raised to the power of 2 or C squared. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Kaya ang sagot natin dito ay C raised to the power of 7. Next, punta tayo sa D. Meron tayo sa numerator na D cubed. Dito naman sa denominator, meron tayong D raised to the power of 4. So, we need to subtract them. 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1 or simply 1 over D dahil kailangan natin siyang gawing positive. So, yung D natin ay mapupunta na sa denominator. Next, yung E ay wala naman siyang katulad dito sa denominator na E. So, as is lang siya na nasa numerator. Same pa rin yung value na na E raised to the power of 6. Pag sama-samahin na natin yung ating sagot, ang ating magiging final answer ay A, 
c raised to the power of 7, e raised to the power of 6 over 8d. Paano ito nakuha? Itong mga sagot natin ito, kapag positive, nasa numerator siya. Kapag negative, nasa denominator siya. Papansinin natin na mawawala na yung 1. Kasi invisible 1 na siya. A, positive siya, kaya nasa taas. C raised to the power of 7, positive, kaya nasa taas din. Yung E raised to the power of 6 ay talaga namang nasa numerator, so copy lang natin siya. Yung D ay magiging nasa denominator na siya dahil negative yung kanyang exponent. So, para maging positive, nasa denominator siya. And then, yung 8 ay kinopya lamang natin tulad ng E raised to the power of 6, nasa denominator na talaga siya. Kaya ito na ang ating final answer. Dako naman tayo sa activity B ng learning task to perform the indicated operation, simplify your answer. Meron tayong sampo. Yung 1 to 5 ay under ng multiplication of polynomials. And then yung 6 to 10 naman ay under ng division of polynomials. Isa-isay natin. Yung 1 and 2 ay parehong under ng multiplying trinomials by a monomial. Ito ang ah, example kung paano yan sinasagotan. Bigay naman tayo ng example under multiplying a trinomial by a monomial. Trinomial is a kind of a polynomial with three terms because tri means three. Example, find the product of 3abc and 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. Ito yung ating monomial. Ito naman yung ating trinomial. Para ito ay ating masolve, we actually have two ways on how to do it. First, we can use the distributive property where in the distribute natin or in multiply natin yung monomial dito sa bawat terms ng trinomial. Unahin natin yung first term ng trinomial which is 4a squared. Multiply natin siya kay 3abc. Next, yung pangalawang term naman. 3abc multiply to 3a. Pansin na yung ating sign dito ay plus dahil plus yung sign ni 3a. Dito naman, sa pangatlo, magiging minus sign dahil minus sign yung ating sign before the third term which is 5. 3abc multiplied to 5. After nating mag-distribute, pwede natin siyang i-treat as multiplication of monomial by another monomial. Then yung sagot natin sa kanilang tatlo ay pagsasama-samahin natin after. Umpisahan natin dito sa 3abc multiplied to 4a squared. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Pareho sila na may a. So, ito ay a raised to the power of 1. May invisible 1 si a. Ganon din si b at si c. Itong 4a squared ay walang b and c. Pero meron siyang exponent na 2 for a. So, ito ay magiging a raised to 3. Yung 3 ay galing sa 1 plus 2. Kopihin yung base a. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And then, B and C, kopyahin na lang since wala namang B and C na mga variable si 4A squared. Punta tayo sa pangalawang term. 3ABC multiplied to 3A. Kopyahin natin yung sign na plus sign. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Pareho silang may variable na A. Pero walang mga visible exponents. So, pareho silang may invisible 1. Kaya yan ay magiging 1 plus 1. Which is A squared. Yung 3A ay walang b and c na variables. So, open lang natin siya. Ang sagot natin dito ay 9a squared bc. Dito naman tayo sa pangatlong term. Kopihin natin yung minus sign. And then, multiply natin iyong mga constants or numerical coefficient. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Ito ay walang variable at all. Wala siyang literal coefficient. Kaya, kopihin lang natin yung abc. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 15 abc. Kaya dito, sa ating problem na ito, ang sagot natin ay 12 aqbc plus 9a squared bc minus 15abc. Same example, kukunin natin yung product nilang dalawa. Kaya lang, instead of distributive property, gagamitin na natin yung vertical method. So, isulat natin yung trinomial dito sa taas multiplied by itong ating monomial. And then, let's start multiplying yung ating monomial from left to right. Kaya, 3abc multiplied to 4a squared is equal to 12aqbc. Kasi, 3 times 4 is 12. Pareho silang may a. a, 2 plus 1 is equal to a cubed. And then, kopihin natin yung bc since walang bc ang 4a squared. Next, 
ito naman, 3ABC multiplied to 3A, ang ating magiging sagot ay 9A squared plus BC plus sin kasi plus din ito. 9 ay galing sa 3 times 3, A squared ay galing sa A, 1 plus 1, invisible 1, and then BC, kinopya lang natin since walang B and C variables sa 3A. Last term tayo, 3ABC multiplied to negative 5. Negative 5 kasi yung kanyang sign before it is minus. So, ang result natin dyan ay minus 15ABC. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. And then, walang literal coefficient si 5. Siya ay constant lamang na 5. So, let's copy the literal coefficient of 3. Kaya magiging 15ABC minus dahil minus sign ito. Ang sagot natin dito ay pareho lang naman kung ang gagamitin natin ay distributive property. We only have two ways on how to perform it. For numbers 3 and 4 naman, ito ay multiplying trinomial by uh, binomial. Ito naman ay example kung paano yung sinasagutan. Next, we have multiplying a trinomial by a binomial. Ang binomial naman, this is a kind of a polynomial with two terms because by means We also have two ways on how we can perform this, horizontal method and vertical method. Horizontal method is also similar to distributive property. Pareho lang yun. So, have an example. What is the product of m minus 4 multiplied to m squared plus 3m plus 7? Since horizontal method tayo, we need to distribute. Unahin natin dito yung first term ng binomial, multiply natin siya sa kada term nitong ating trinomial. So, that's m multiplied to m squared. Doon tayo sa pangalawang term. m multiplied to 3m plus, dahil plus sign yung nasa gitna. Next, m multiplied to the third term which is 7. Plus, kasi plus sign din yung nasa gitna. Ito yung na-distribute natin yung first term ng binomial doon sa kada term ng trinomial. After nyan, punta naman tayo ngayon sa second term, which is negative 4. Negative 4 multiplied to m squared. Negative 4 multiplied to m squared. Kaya ito naging plus dahil ang ibig sabihin lang natin ay we'll have to combine them together. Pero yung sign ni 4 ay negative. Pangalawa, negative 4 multiplied to 3m. At yung pangatlong term naman ay 7 multiplied to negative 4. So, after natin siyang ma-distribute, pwede na natin siyang i-multiply na parang monomial by monomial. m multiplied to m squared is equal to m cubed dahil 1 invisible 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Next, we also have 3m squared na result naman ng m times 3m. Si m ay walang literal coefficient. So, tulad ng exponent niya na invisible 1, siya din ay may literal coefficient na invisible 1. Kaya 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And then, yung exponent ay naging 2 dahil 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Kaya 3m squared. Next, m Multiply to 7, magiging 7m. Sumunod naman ay negative 4 multiplied to m squared ay magiging negative 4m squared. Ang negative 4 multiplied to 3m ay magiging negative 12m naman because negative 4 times 3 is equal to negative 12. Different signs sila kaya naging negative. And then copy m. Last term natin, negative 4 times 7 ay negative 28. Different signs, kaya negative yung ating product. And then, we'll have to combine them all together. Kung mapapansin natin dito, natatangin ito lang yung term na may exponent na 3. Walang kaparehong iba. So, ibaba lang natin siya. m raised to m cubed. Next, meron tayo ditong dalawang terms na may parehong literal coefficients. Positive 3m squared at saka negative 4m squared. Hindi natin sila pwedeng ibaba ng sabay dito. We have to combine them together first. Ang magiging sagot natin ay negative m squared. Ito ay galing sa 3 plus negative 4. Alam natin na pag tayo ay mag-a-add ng integers na magkaiba yung sign, we need to subtract their absolute values. Kaya magiging 4 
minus 3, which is 1. And then yung atin sign ay manggagaling doon sa larger number. Between 3 and 4, mas malaki si 4. Si 4 ay negative, kaya naging negative itong ating sagot. And then, ang sagot natin ay negative 1. Negative 1 m squared. Kapag 1 ang ating numerical coefficient, no need na isulat na siya. Automatic. Alam natin na may invisible 1 na yung mga yan. Next, meron tayo ditong dalawang terms na pareho ng literal coefficient. M lamang. Meron silang invisible 1. So, we need to combine them together. Ang ating magiging sagot ay negative 5 m. Galing ito sa 7 plus negative 12. Positive yung 7, negative yung negative 12. Kaya ang gagawin natin ay kailangan natin isubtract yung kanilang mga absolute values. Magiging 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. And then, yung sign ng ating sagot ay base sa sign ng larger number which is 12. Ang 12 ay negative. Kaya magiging negative 5 yung sagot natin. And then, just copy the literal coefficient. Next, kopihin lang natin, drop down natin yung negative 28 dahil aside from negative 28, wala naman ng ibang constants dito. Kaya ang ating sagot dito ay m cubed minus m squared minus 5m minus 28. So aside from horizontal method, pwede rin natin itong i-multiply ng vertical method. Kopihin lamang natin yung trinomial at saka yung binomial dito sa baba. Ang una natin i-multiply dito ay yung first term muna. First term left to right and then second term left to right. Unahin natin i-multiply yung m multiply to m squared. Yun ay magiging m cubed dahil yung exponent nila ay 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Next, m multiply to 3m ang sagot ay magiging 3m squared. Dahil itong m ay may invisible 1 na numerical coefficient, 3 times 1 ay equal to 3. And then, yung exponent na ng ating m na variable ay 2 dahil meron silang invisible exponents, 1 plus 1. Next, m multiplied to 7 ay magiging 7m. Next, dito naman tayo pumunta sa second term ng binomial. Left to right din natin siyang multiply. Next, negative 4 multiplied to m squared ay magiging negative 4m squared. Ipagtapat natin yung pareho ng literal coefficients. Negative 4 dahil negative 4 multiplied to invisible 1 ay negative 4. Positive and negative, kaya negative. And then, just copy the literal coefficient m squared. Next, negative 4 times 3m, sagot natin ay magiging negative 12m. Itapat ulit natin siya sa pareho ng literal coefficient. Negative 12 ay galing sa negative 4 multiplied to 3, kaya negative 12. And then, copy the literal coefficient. Last term tayo, negative 4 multiplied to positive 7, different signs, kaya ang sagot ay magiging negative 28. And then, let's add them together. Yung m cube ay walang kapareho, just drop it down. Positive 3m squared plus negative 4m squared, magkaiba ng sign, so we need to subtract the absolute values. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Ang sign ay magiging base sa ating larger number. Ang 4 ay negative. Kaya magiging sagot natin dito ay negative m squared. Kaya naging negative m squared ay no need na natin na ipakita yung 1 dito. Dahil alam natin na 3 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 1. And then just copy the literal coefficients. Automatic na meron tong invisible 1. Next, 7m plus negative 12m. Different signs pa rin sila, so we need to subtract their absolute values. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. And then, yung 5 ay magiging negative dahil ang ating larger number ay 12 na may sign na negative. And then, copy the literal coefficient m. Walang kapareho na constants yung negative 28, kaya drop it down. Yung sagot natin dito sa vertical method ay pareho lang sa ating sagot sa distributive or horizontal method. At ang number 5 ay multiplying a trinomial by another trinomial. Ito ang example kung paano yan sinasagatan. At sa ban example, under multiplying a trinomial by another trinomial. Multiply m cubed plus m minus 4 by m squared plus 3m plus 7. Unahin muna natin yung ating horizontal method via distributive property. m cubed multiplied to m squared. Combine natin siya sa m cubed multiplied to 3m. 
and then m cube multiplied by 7. Pangalawa naman natin na term ng ating trinomial na ito ay m. I-distribute natin dito sa kada term. m multiplied by m squared. Pangalawang term naman tayo. m multiplied by 3m. Third term, m multiplied by 7. So, meron tayong pangatlong term, which is negative 4. Distribute din natin siya sa kada term. Negative 4 multiplied by m squared. Negative 4 multiplied by 3m. Plus, we have negative 4 multiplied by 7. And then, let's multiply them all together na para siyang monomial by monomial. Unahin natin ito. m cubed multiplied to m squared is equal to m raised to the power of 5. Dahil 3 plus 2 is 5. Next, m cubed multiplied to 3m is equal to 3m raised to the power of 4. 3 multiplied to invisible 1 is 3. Copy natin yung variable na m. Yung 4 ay galing sa 3 plus 1. Next, m cubed multiplied by 7 is 7m cubed. Ito naman ay magiging m cubed dahil invisible 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Ito naman m multiplied by 3m ay magiging 3m squared. 3 multiplied to invisible 1 na literal coefficient ay 3. And then, 1 plus 1, dalawang invisible 1, magiging 2. Next, m multiplied to 7 ay 7m. Sumunod naman, negative 4 multiplied to m squared ay negative 4m squared. Ito namang negative 4 multiplied to 3m ay magiging negative 12m. Negative 4 times 3, different signs, kaya magiging negative yung ating sagot. And then, copy the variable m. Negative 4 times 7 is equal to negative 28. Let's combine them together. Yung mga pareho ng exponents, kailangan na natin i-add. Si m raised to the power of 5 lamang yung may exponent na 5. Walang iba, kaya let's drop it down. Sa term naman na may exponent na 4, siya lang din mag-isa. So, just drop it down. 3m raised to the power of 4. Next, doon naman tayo sa mga literal coefficients na may exponent na 3. Meron tayong dalawa. 7m cubed, saka m cubed. So, we need to combine them together. Pareho silang positive, so we need to add them. Ito ay magiging plus 8m cubed. 7 added to positive invisible 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Parehong positive, kaya positive din yung sagot. And then, copy the literal coefficients m cubed. Doon naman tayo sa mga terms na merong exponent na 2. Meron din tayong dalawa. Positive 3m squared at saka negative 4m squared. So, dahil magkaiba yung kanilang signs, we need to subtract their absolute values. Kaya ito magiging 4 minus 3, which is 1. At yung sign ay magiging base dun sa ating sign ng larger number. Kaya magiging negative 1 yung ating sagot. Since negative 1 ito, no need na ipakita yung 1. Invisible lamang ito. And then, copy the literal coefficient to make sure lang na negative siya. To emphasize na negative itong term. Next, doon naman tayo sa literal coefficient na m lamang, may invisible 1. We have 7m and negative 12m. Different signs, kaya magiging 12 minus 7, which is 5. Negative 5 dahil yung ating larger number ay 12, which is negative. Kaya magiging negative 5m. Kopihin lamang natin yung ating literal coefficient na 5. And then, ito lamang ang nag-iisang constant. Drop it down. Minus 20. Kaya dito, sa trinomial by trinomial na ito, na polynomials ay, ito ang ating sagot. m raised to the power of 5 plus 3m raised to the power of 4 plus 8m cubed minus m squared minus 5m minus 28. Same example tayo, pero gagamitin naman natin ang vertical method. So, sulat natin yung ating first trinomial. Kahit ano naman yung nasa taas at nasa baba ay pareho lang naman since pareho naman silang trinomial. Same procedures pa rin tayo. Itong first term natin ay mumultiply natin from left to right. Kaya, m squared multiplied by m cubed. Ang sagot ay magiging m raised to the power 5 kasi 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Next, m squared multiplied by m is equal to m cubed dahil 2 plus 1 ay 3. 
And then, m squared multiplied to negative 4 ay negative 4 m squared. Pangalawang term naman tayo, left to right ulit. 3m multiplied by m cubed ay magiging 3m raised to the power of 4. 3 times invisible 1 is 3. And then, m i 3 plus 1 magiging 4. Ilagay natin yung ating sagot dito kasi wala naman siyang kapareho ng literal coefficient. Next tayo, 3m multiplied by m. Ang sagot natin ay magiging 3m squared. Ipagtapat natin dun sa pareho ng literal coefficient. 3 multiplied by invisible 1 is 3. And then, 1 plus 1 yung invisible exponents nila, kaya magiging 2. Next, 3m multiplied by negative 4 is equal to negative 12m. 3 positive multiplied by negative 4 ay negative 12 and then copy m. Doon tayo sa pangatlong term, 7 multiplied by m cubed ay magiging 7m cubed. Itapat natin ito dito sa m cubed, then ang literal coefficient. And then, 7 multiplied to m ay 7m. Tapat din natin siya, pareho sila ng literal coefficients. And then, 7 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 28 because of their different signs. Add them all together. Yung m raised to the power of 5 ay walang kapareho, so drop it down. Ganun din naman ang 3m raised to the power of 4, plus kasi positive siya. Yung ating literal coefficients na m cube ay dalawa, parehong positive, so let's add them together, magiging 8m cube. 1 na invisible plus 7 ay 8, and then copy the literal coefficient m cube. Ito namang, m squared ang literal coefficient, magkaiba ng sign, so we have to subtract their absolute values. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, magiging negative 1 dahil negative yung ating bigger number. Kaya ang sagot natin ay magiging negative m squared, no need ipakita yung invisible 1. Next, negative 12m plus positive 7m, magkaiba ng sign, so magiging subtraction of absolute values ulit tayo. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. Magiging negative 5 dahil larger number iyong 12 at negative siya. Copy the literal coefficient m and then drop down negative 28 since wala siyang kapareho. Itong ating sagot dito sa vertical method ay pareho lang din dun sa ating sagot sa horizontal method or distributive property. Paalala lamang mga bata, for numbers 1 to 5, for multiplication of polynomials, meron tayong dalawang ways kung paano natin pwedeng i-perform. It's either gagamit tayo ng distributive property or horizontal method or vertical method. Gamitin mo yung kung ano yung mas madali para sa iyo. Next, punta tayo sa number 6 hanggang 10. Itong number 6 ay example ng... Dividing monomial by another monomial. At ito ang example kung paano yan sinasagotan. So, have an example under dividing a monomial by another monomial. So, ito ay dalawang polynomials na meron tag-iisang term lamang. Find the quotient. 25x raised to the power of 5y squared z cubed divided by 5xy cubed z squared. Dito sa monomial na ito, 25 ang ating numerical coefficient at yung x raised to the power of 5y squared z cube ay yung ating literal coefficient. Dito naman, 5 yung numerical coefficient at ito naman yung ating literal coefficient. Unahin natin na i-divide muna yung mga numerical coefficients nila. So, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Next, doon tayo sa x. Pareho sila na may variable na x x raised to the power of 5 divided by x applying the quotient law of exponents eh, kailangan nating ipag-subtract naging 4 ito dahil ito ay merong exponent na 5 ito naman ay may invisible 1 so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 next, pareho din sila na may y y squared galing dito and then y cubed galing naman dito sa monomial na ito y squared divided by y cubed is equal to y raised to the power of negative 1. Negative 1 dahil 2 minus 3 is negative 1. We know na kapag negative yung ating exponent, pwede natin siyang gawing positive by writing it in a fraction form wherein magiging denominator na siya. So, 1 over y. Y lamang dahil ito ay may invisible 1 na positive exponent. Next, we have z cubed from this monomial divided by 
z squared from this monomial. So, ang ating magiging sagot ay magiging z raised to the power of 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Or simply, z. Dahil kapag ang ating exponent naman ay positive 1, no need na natin siyang isulat. Let's combine them all together. Ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 5x raised to the power of 4 y raised to the power of negative 1 z. Itong z ay may positive 1 na invisible. Since tayo ay may dalawang positive exponents at isang negative, gawin natin siyang positive lahat. Magiging final answer natin ay 5x raised to the power of 4z and then over y. Itong y ay may positive 1. Alam natin na yung y ay kailangan natin gawing fraction form na. So, magiging denominator siya para maging positive. Kaya ang ating final answer ay ito. Ito namang number 7 ay example ng dividing a trinomial by a monomial. Ito ang example kung paano yung sagutan. We have dividing a multinomial by a monomial. When we say multinomial, this is a kind of a polynomial with more than 3 terms. So, ang terms ito ay 4 pataas. Example, what is the quotient of 4x raised to the power of 8 plus 6x raised to the power of 6 minus 2x raised to the power of 4 minus 10x squared. So, ito yung ating multinomial divided by ang ating monomial na 2x squared. Ang gagawin natin dito ay kada term sa ating multinomial ay i-divide natin by the monomial. So, unahin natin itong dalawa. 4x raised to the power of 8 divided by 2x squared. Ang sagot natin ay magiging 2x raised to the power of 6. Dahil, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Copy x, yung ating variable. And then, 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Next naman tayo sa second term. 6x raised to the power of 6 divided by 2x squared. Ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay 3x raised to the power of 4. Dahil, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Copy x. 6 minus 2, yung exponents, ay magiging 4. Doon tayo sa third term. Negative 2x raised to the power of 4 divided by 2x squared. Negative 2x raised to the power of 4 ito dahil minus sa inyo na sa unahan nito. Ito. So, dapat negative siya. Ang sagot natin ay magiging negative 1x squared. Dahil negative 2 divided by positive 2 ay negative 1. Sila ay may different sides, kaya negative dapat yung sagot. And then, copy x. Exponents natin ay 4 minus 2, kaya 2 yung exponent. Or simply, negative x squared. No need to sulat yung ating invisible 1. Basta make sure lang na iwan natin yung negative to signify na ito ay term na negative talaga. Last terms naman tayo, negative 10x squared divided by 2x squared na ang sagot natin ay negative 5x dahil negative 10 divided by positive 2 different signs kaya negative. And then copy x, yung exponent natin ay 2 minus 2. Kaya ang ating magiging exponent dito ay 0 dahil 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Or simply, ang sagot natin ay negative 5 dahil x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Negative 5 multiplied to positive 1 ay negative 5 pa rin naman. Pagsasama-samahin lamang natin silang apat, kaya ang ating final answer ay... 2x raised to the power of 6 plus 3x raised to the power of 4. Positive ito, kaya plus yung ating sign. Minus x squared, dahil negative, minus 5, negative 10. Ito namang number 8 ay dividing a trinomial by a binomial. Ito ang example kung paano yan sinasagutan. Next, we have dividing a trinomial by a binomial. Ito ang ating example. Divide 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 by 3n minus 4. So, dito sa ating trinomial and binomial na ito, ang trinomial natin dito ay ang dividend at ang divisor naman natin ay yung binomial natin. Gagamit tayo ng long division method. Kaya itong ating trinomial ay ang ating magiging dividend na nasa loob ng division sign at ang binomial natin ay divisor na nasa lapas. Para tayo ay makapag-divide, ang una natin gagawin ay we have to divide the first term of the trinomial 
15n squared by the first term of the binomial. Kaya naman, 15n squared divided by 3n is equal to 5n. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. And then, n, yung ating variable, 2 minus 1, invisible 1, is equal to positive 1. Kaya, ito ay may invisible 1 din. 5n, ito ang ating unang quotient. Ilalagay natin ito dito sa tapat ng negative 2n dahil pareho sila ng literal coefficient. And then, itong ating quotient na 5n ay multiply na natin dito by the binomial. So, 5n multiplied by 3n is equal to 15n squared. Dahil 5 times 3 is equal to 15 and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Next, 5n multiplied by negative 4 is equal to negative 20n. Dahil 5 times negative 4 is equal to negative 20. Kopyain lang natin iyong ating literal coefficient na n. And then, tayo ay magsusubtract na. Ang rule natin sa subtraction of integers ay we need to change the sign of the subtrahin and then proceed to the rules of addition. Ang ating subtrahin dito ay itong nasa baba. So, ang ating 15n squared na positive ay magiging negative at itong ating negative 20n ay magiging positive. And then, yung ating subtraction sign ay magiging plus sign na. Kaya, positive 15n squared plus negative 15n squared magiging cancelled out na sila dahil 15 plus negative 15 is equal to 0. Next, negative 2n plus positive 20n ang sagot natin ay magiging positive 18n dahil makaiba sila ng sign. Kaya naman, kailangan natin isubtract yung kanila mga absolute values. 20 minus 2 is equal to 18. Positive dahil ang bigger number ay 20 which is positive. And then, copy the literal coefficients. Next, bring down natin yung negative 24. Ang sumunod naman natin na i-divide dito ay itong 18n by the first term of the binomial. Yun ay magiging 18n divided by 3n which is 6. Dahil 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6 and then n ay 1 minus 1 which is 0. Kaya naman, 6 times 1 ay 6. Kaya 6 lang yung ating quotient. Itatabi natin ito dito sa ating sagot na 5n which is plus 6 plus kasi positive 6 ito. Itatapat natin sa constant. Next, 6 multiplied by 3n is equal to 18n. Dahil 6 times 3 is 18, then copy literal coefficient n. Next, 6 multiplied by negative 4 is equal to negative 24. Dahil different sign sila, kaya negative yung ating sign. Kailangan na nating isubtract. At kailangan din nating mag-change ng sign ng subtrahin from positive 18n magiging negative 18n. And then, yung negative 24 ay magiging positive 24. And then, proceed to the rules of addition. 18n plus negative 18n ay makakancel out. Dahil 18 plus negative 18, makaiba sila ng sign, magiging 0. Ganon din ito. Cancelled out din dahil negative 24 plus positive 24 ay 0. So, wala na tayong natira dito. Ang ating sagot na ay 5n plus 6. Itong number 9 naman ay dividing binomial by another binomial. Ito ang paraan kung paano ito sasagutan. A raised to the power of 6 plus B raised to the power of 6 divided by A squared plus B squared. Step 1 natin ay we need to rewrite it in a fraction form. Yung A raised to the power of 6 plus B raised to the power of 6 yung ating numerator. At yung ating denominator naman ay a squared plus b squared. Step 2 tayo, we need to factor out a raised to the power of 6 plus b raised to the power of 6. Bukunin natin yung factor niya. Which is magiging a cubed plus b cubed squared. Dahil pag perform natin ito, a kopyahin yung base. 3 times 2 is 6. Kopyahin yung plus sign at yung b na variable. 3 times 2 is 6. So ito ay pareho lang naman. Ito lang yung kanyang factor. Next, step 3 tayo, factor a cubed plus b cubed using its standard form. 
So, merong standard form itong A cubed plus B cubed na ito. Ayun ay katumbas ng A plus B multiplied to A squared minus AB plus B squared. So, ito yung kanyang standard form. Ito yung kapag finactor out mo itong A cubed plus B cubed, ito yung magiging resulta. And then, i-check natin. Ipapakita ko lamang na pag minultiply natin itong binomial na ito dito sa trinomial na ito, ito talaga ang magiging result. So, multiply natin sila together. Unahin natin yung first term, left to right. Ang magiging result natin ay a cubed from a squared multiplied to a. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Minus sign dahil minus ito. A multiplied to AB ay magiging A squared B dahil invisible 1 plus invisible 1 ay 2, copy B. And then, A multiplied to B squared magiging AB squared. Next naman natin ay yung second term multiplied left to right ng ating trinomial. Ang magiging result natin ay B multiplied to A squared ay A squared B. Ito namang negative AB multiplied to B ay magiging negative AB squared dahil Invisible 1 plus invisible 1 ay 2. Kinopia lang yung A. And then, B multiplied to B squared ay B cubed dahil 1 plus 2 ay 3. Add them all together. Wala namang kapareho si A cubed, kaya i-drop down lang natin siya. Si B cubed ay wala rin kapareho, kaya i-drop down lang natin siya. Mapapansin natin na si A squared B na negative at positive naman si a squared b ay makakancel out dahil negative and positive ito. Ito ay katumbas ng negative 1 plus positive 1 which is 0. Ganun din naman si a b squared na positive at negative a b squared dahil positive 1 plus negative 1 is 0. And then, i-drop down na nga natin yung a cube at saka yung b cube. Kaya naman, ito talaga yung factor nitong a cube plus b cube. Next, after natin siyang ma-factor out, ito na yung standard form niya. Step 4 naman tayo, get the square of the standard form of a cube plus b cube. So, ito yung standard form. Ito na yung ating standard form nitong a cube plus b cube. And then, enclose natin siya sa bracket dahil kailangan natin siyang erase to the power of 2. Let's apply the law of exponent. Ang magiging sagot natin ay... A squared plus B squared na binomial multiplied by the trinomial A raised to the power of 4 minus A squared plus B squared plus B raised to the power of 4. San ito nang galing? Isa-isahin natin. A squared ay nang galing sa A na may invisible 1 times 2 is equal to A squared. Next, copyin lamang natin yung plus sign dito. Kopyahin din yung B na variable. Ito may invisible 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Kaya ito yung naging sagot. Next, dito naman tayo sa trinomial. A na may exponent na 2 times 2, kaya naging 4. A raised to the power of 4. Kopyahin yung minus sign. Ito naman ay nagaling sa A na may invisible 1 times 2. Ganon din yung B na may invisible 1 times 2. Kaya naging A squared B squared minus. Ito namang B raised to the power of 4 ay galing sa 2 times 2 na exponent ng B. Kaya naman ito ang ating resulta. Ito ay ang factored out form ng ating A raised to the power of 6 plus B raised to the power of 6. To prove na talagang sila ay pareho or equal, multiply natin together yung ating trinomial na A raised to the power of 4 minus A squared B squared plus B raised to the power of 4 dito sa ating binomial na a squared plus b squared. Multiply natin sila together. So, ganun din. Itong first term ng binomial ay mumultiply natin sa trinomial left to right. At ang magiging result natin ay a raised to the power of 6 galing sa 4 plus 2, kaya 6. Negative dahil minus ito. Ito ay galing naman sa 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, kaya 4 exponent ni A. And then, B squared, kinopya lang. Ito namang A squared, B raised to the power of 4 ay galing sa A squared times B raised to the power of 4. Next naman ay yung second term ng ating binomial. Multiply din natin sa trinomial natin ng left to right. Ito ay positive A raised to the power of 4B squared galing dito. A raised to the power of 4 times B squared. Ito naman ay galing dito sa negative A squared B squared multiplied to B squared. Negative kasi negative ito. 
And then, a squared, kinopia ito, a squared, and then, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Ito namang b raised to the power of 6 ay galing dito sa b squared times b raised to the power of 4. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. And then, let's add them all together. Maka-cancel out na itong negative a raised to the power of 4b squared plus positive a raised to the power of 4b squared. Dahil ito ay parang negative 1 plus positive 1 magiging 0. Ganon din naman ang mangyayari dito sa a squared b raised to the power of 4 dahil positive 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Kaya ang gagawin lamang natin ay i-bring down natin itong a raised to the power of 6 tsaka itong b raised to the power of 6. Kaya ang sagit natin dito ay a raised to the power of 6 plus b raised to the power of 6. Kaya talaga namang ito ay ang factored form or standard form nito. a raised to the power of 6 plus b raised to the power of 6. Pag nakuha na natin yan, step 5, we write it in a fraction form. Ang gagamitin natin ay yung standard form at hindi itong kanyang simplified form. And then, yung denominator natin ay a squared plus b squared lang naman. And then, let's apply the law of exponent. a squared divided by a squared, pareho siya. So, makakancel silang dalawa. Ganun din itong b squared plus b squared. So, makakancel out silang dalawa. Ang matitira lamang sa atin ay ito. Kaya, ang final answer natin ay a raised to the power of 4 minus a squared b squared plus b raised to the power of 4. Ito ang ating sagot dito sa ating question na ito. And for number 10, this is dividing a multinomial by a trinomial. Ito naman ang ating example kung paano ito sasagotan. Another example tayo, dividing a multinomial by a trinomial. Let's divide. 6w cubed plus 7w squared minus 12w plus 15 divided by 2w squared plus 3w minus 5. Ito yung ating dividend at ito yung ating divisor. Gamit tayo ng long division method ulit. Yung ating dividend ay nasa loob ng ating division sign at yung ating divisor naman ay nasa labas. I-multiply natin ito, yung first term ng ating dividend by the first term ng ating divisor. 6w cubed divided by 2w squared is equal to 3w dahil 6 divided by 2 is 3. Yung W, kopyahin lamang natin. And then, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, ito ay may invisible 1. Yung 3W ay ilalagay natin dito sa tapat nung kanyang kapareho ng literal coefficient. And then, multiply. 3W multiplied by 2W squared is equal to 6W cubed. Dahil, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And then, yung kanyang invisible 1 na exponent plus 2 is 3. Next, 3w multiplied to 3w ay magiging 9w squared. Dahil 3 times 3 is equal to 9, kopyahin yung w, invisible 1 plus invisible 1 is equal to 2. Positive. Next, 3w multiplied to negative 5, ang sagat natin ay magiging negative 15w. Dahil 3 times negative 5, different signs, kaya ang sagot natin ay negative 15. Then, copy W dito sa 3W. And then, let's subtract. Pag tayo magsasubtract, change the sign of the subtrahend, and then proceed to the rules of addition. Kaya itong ating positive 6W cube ay magiging negative. Yung 9W squared na positive ay gagawin nating negative. At yung negative 15W ay magiging positive na siya. Babalik ta rin natin yung sign ng subtrahin. And then yung minus sign ay magiging plus sign na dahil addition na tayo. Positive 6W cube plus negative 6W cube ay makakancel out dahil 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 0. Next, ito namang positive 7W squared plus negative 9W squared ay kailangan nating mag-subtract ng absolute values because of their different signs. Magiging 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 at yung 2 ay magiging negative dahil bigger number si 9 siya ay negative. Kaya ang sagot natin ay magiging negative 2 and then copy the literal coefficient W squared. Ito naman, negative 12W plus positive 15W. Different signs then so we need to subtract their absolute values. 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. 
And then, yung 3 ay positive dahil bigger number sa 15 siya ay positive. Kaya, ang sagot natin ay magiging positive 3W. Copy the literal coefficients. And then, bring down plus 15. Next, tayo ay magde-divide ulit nitong negative 2W squared by 2W squared. At ang ating sagot ay negative 1. Dahil negative 2 divided by positive 2 ay negative 1 different signs. Yung W squared ay magiging 2 minus 2 which is 0. Mawawala na siya. Dahil negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Kaya ang ating sagot na negative 1 ay ilalagay natin dito katabi ng 3W katapat ng constant. So, negative 1 multiplied by 2W squared. Ang sagot ay negative 2W squared. Next, negative 1 multiplied by 3W is equal to negative 3W. And then, negative 1 multiplied by negative 5 is equal to positive 5. So, dahil pareho silang negative, ang ating sign ay magiging positive na. And then, let's proceed to subtraction. Let's change the sign of the subtrahend. Itong ating negative 2W squared ay magiging positive na. At itong ating negative 3W ay magiging positive na. Ito namang ating positive 5 ay magiging negative. At yung ating minus sign ay magiging plus sign na. Proceed to addition. Negative 2W squared plus positive 2W squared ay makakancel out since negative 2 plus positive 2 is equal to 0. Ito ay pareho ng positive. So, 3W plus 3W is equal to 6W. And then, 15 plus negative 5 different signs. So, we need to subtract. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. At positive siya dahil yung 15 natin ay positive. Kaya tayo ay may remainder na 6W plus 10 since wala na tayong ibibring down. Ang gagawin natin dito ay susulat natin ito into fraction wherein siya yung gagawin nating numerator. At yung denominator naman natin ay itong ating divisor. Kaya ang ating final answer dito sa ating question na ito ay 3W minus 1. Yung remainder natin ay fraction na 6W plus 10 over 2W squared plus 3W minus 5. Magdako naman tayo sa ating learning task 3. Ito ang ating makikita. We have 5 word problems. Number 1. What is the area of the rectangle whose length is x plus 5 and width x minus 5? Dito sa number 1, tayo hinihinga ng area of a rectangle. Ang area, kanyang formula ay depende sa kung ano yung shape na binanggit. In this case, rectangle ito. So, ang formula ng area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Kaya yung length na x plus 5 ay mumultiply lang natin sa width na x minus 5. So, ito ay multiplication of binomial by another binomial. For number 2, what is the area of the square whose sides measure 3x plus 4? Area of a square naman. So, ang formula ng area of a square is a is equal to s squared. Kaya yung kanyang side na 3x plus 4 ay kailangan natin ngayon close sa parenthesis dahil siya ay kailangan natin kunin yung kanyang square. Multiply natin siya sa sarili niya ng dalawang bis. For number 3, the area of the rectangle is 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. What is the length if the width is x plus 3? For number 3, kailangan natin mag-divide. 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 divided by x plus 3. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng dividing a trinomial by a binomial. So, ito ay dividend. Nasa loob ito. At ito naman ay nasa labas. Ito yung divisor. Number 4. What is the average speed of the car that covers a distance of 2y cubed minus 7y squared plus 5y minus 1 kilometer in 2y minus 1 hour? So, dito sa number 4, dapat alam natin yung formula ng speed, which is rate. Speed, ang kanyang formula ay distance over time or distance divided by time. Nabanggit dito sa number 4 na itong multinomial na ito ay ang kanyang distance at ito namang binomial na ito ay ang kanyang time. Kaya naman, i-divide natin yung multinomial by binomial. And then, kapag nakuha na natin yung sagot, ang kanyang magiging unit ay kilometer per hour for speed. Last, for number 5, multiply... 
m squared plus 2m minus 2 by the sum of m plus 3 and 2m minus 3. So, ang kailangan muna natin gawin dito ay mag-add muna tayo. So, let's add 2 binomials, m plus 3 plus 2m minus 3. Pag nakuha na natin yung sagot natin dito after natin mag-add, tsaka natin i-multiply dito sa trinomial na ito. Yun na yung ating magiging sagot. And that's it for our video for today, mga bata. Hangad ko na natutunan nyo kung paano nga bang sasagutan ang mga learning tasks sa Module 4, Quarter 2. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and Teacher Musamat for more Grade 7 Mathematics content. Also, like and share this video para mas marami pa akong mga batang Grade 7 na tulad mo ang maabot at maturuan dahil ako si Ma'am Regine, ang Teacher Musamat.